Hi everyone, it's Kaylee here for Soying Shay and thank you so much for joining me for today's soap making video. Today's soap was actually inspired by these earrings that I have got in. These are from off of Daylight Designers and um, I loved them the first moment I saw them and I've been inspired to create a soap from off this sort of design as well. So I wanted to create a rainbow soap but I didn't want it to be the sort of typical layers of rainbow. So I decided that I wanted to have that cloud with a nice rainbow sitting on the top of the cloud and then underneath that cloud in the actual base of the soap was going to be blue sky with raindrops but rather than having the typical blue raindrops I decided to make my raindrops every color of the rainbow so let's go and see how I am going to make my rainbow drop soap let's go all right so let's get into making this I'm going to be doing this in a couple of layers so I have split my oils up so I can do a top and the bottom layer so I've got enough in here for my bottom let's pour our lye water in we're going to mix it up and then I'll add in a little bit of color in fact we might actually split a little bit out as well and then add the other color Okay, so let me grab a little jug I got to the side. Let's pour just a little bit. Don't want too much. I say as I almost fill it up, we're going to add in some titanium dioxide into that one. This one's almost set. We're going to add some in this bucket too, just a little bit, because that's all I've got in here. <laughs> And I'm also going to add in a bit of chambray blue. Now I don't want my base layer to be too dark in colour, which is why I've put that titanium dioxide. We'll see how we go mixing that lot up together. a little bit too green so we're going to add some more blue right, that is much better much more along the lines of what I'm after let's get that cleaned off all right, our fragrance oil today, it's a rather complex one. This one is called Wild Child. And it has got, are you ready for this? Notes of clementine, mandarin, orange, saffron, cedar, milk, honey, black currant leaf, currant buds, peach, tuberose, and we're not finished, patchouli, vanilla, sandalwood, amber, and vetiver. That has to be the longest list of sort of notes I have ever come across in a fragrance. But it smells so good. It just smells fresh, bright, clean, fruity, but a little bit of earthy woodenness to it as well. When I smelt it, I just saw rainbows, which is why I decided I was going to do a rainbow style soap but I didn't want it to be in layers. So if you caught the behind the scenes video that we did this week, you would have seen I made my little rainbow drops over here. And I've also made some rainbow embeds to go on it as well. This is smelling really good. And thankfully it is behaving very well as well. Let's get all that mixed in and we'll go and grab the mold. All right, so I have got my mold here. Let's get that one out of the way because what I'm going to do is a in the pot with there so it's going to kind of look like we've got some wispy clouds through our blue so let's get all of that scraped out don't need any of that left behind and that black current that's in here that has really just smacked me in the face <laughs> it smells so good and the oranges just make it so bright and fresh all right so what we're going to do now is I'm going to start pouring. This is really, really runny. It's a good job I don't really want to balance these in any particular order. What I'm going to start doing, I have got my little teardrop shapes. Let's pop them in the right way. They're a little bit twisted, but I'm just going to drop them randomly into the soap. So it 
let's pop you in there we'll do our orange I say randomly I'm still going to try and get them um, to be in the order when you look across the soap you'll see what I hopefully mean when we cut it so we'll get that one in there doesn't matter that they're not straight let's get a bit more of this soap in So I'm going to leave that sit there for a little while just to firm up so we can do a little bit of sculpting on the top of this soap. Okay, so I've left this one sit here for about 10 minutes, so hopefully it's nice and firm. I'm going to use one of the Wicked Lee um, soap shapers here, and this is what part of the cloud set. I'm actually going to put it in this way so that the biggest sort of dip is over here because I know one of those drops was quite high up here. I've also put on my little clips to help me get a nice straight sort of pull, so I'm just going to rest it on the top of my soap mold there, and then I'm just going to drag it towards me. Look, we can see that green one. All right, we're almost at the end. So I'm gonna grab my little spatula and this sort of excess, it's not gonna to go to waste. I am going to put it into a couple of these little molds and then these will be like little giveaways that I end up doing. Or if hubby needs a soap in his shower, he can have one of these. leave that like that I don't want to dig too much out of here or disturb I've disturbed a little bit of the green there but I don't want to disturb it much more so we're going to leave it like that we're going to work on the next bit so what I have here I have some more oil and my lye water because I want the top of this to be a white cloud basically I'm going to put my titanium dioxide in there now so I can make sure it gets a really good stir Let's give that a bit of a mix pour in our lye water I'll mix this up and then I'll pour in the fragrance and then I'm just going to very simply pour it onto the top of the rest of that soap So let's glitter this up seen as we are doing a rainbow soap so I've got my holographic biodegradable sparkle first up and then I have some of this one here uh, which is one that Tierra has sent to me called silver zodiac frost which is an eco glimmer one I'm gonna give a generous sprinkle of that one as well and yes I still haven't gone out and got myself a cosmetic brush actually I did go and look at the cosmetic brushes and I put it right back when it was gonna cost us I think it was about $15 and that was in a discount store that they wanted $15 for this um, this cosmetic brush and I thought well it can just stay there and I'll just get huge chunks of glitter everywhere <laughs> instead so there is that one on there absolutely loving how this is looking you'll get a better look when I bring you down for that closer look but what I'm gonna do first of all is pop on all of my little rainbow embeds here so let's move that just down the back there each bar is just gonna get one big rainbow popped into the middle like so and hopefully we will get to see all of those colors these are going to be some big tall bars when they go out but they are looking so happy and cheerful really loving how this is coming together now that these rainbows are actually going into um, my mold here you don't really see that sort of white center that I put in the top I put the white center into the roll so that I could actually roll the colors up together and not just have a I knew if I would put the 
lilac or the violet in the middle of the rainbow it would get completely hidden up when we popped it in but at least this way you get to see shades of that violet popping through and that white just disappears all right last one to go in here and then I'll bring you down for that closer look so here is rainbow drops I am loving all of that biodegradable sparkle on the top of this one really hoping that when we get this one cut open it is going to look like a rainbow sitting on top of a cloud with lots of little rainbow raindrops falling from out of that cloud so we're going to leave this one sit here overnight and then we will be back very shortly and we'll cut it open and take a look we are back to cut into our rainbow drops. It does look like some of my little droplets have moved, but let's see what it is going to look like on the inside. It smells really good. It's got one of those really fresh sort of clean smells that you kind of really do associate with those sort of spring days where it's got that sun shower and those rainbows appear so really really loving this smell what I will say to those of you that may be considering buying this one from off of Ilux it does have a very low usage rate in the soap so just keep that in mind when you are using it if you like to have your soaps highly scented um, you may want to avoid this one but even at the low rate that it has said this one is smelling good we are thunk through the soap let's grab one of these from out of the middle see if she'll come up oh look that is my rainbow drops love it my little red ones tilted to the side but you get the idea there's just lots of colorful rainbow drops coming out from that sort of spring shower really love the color that this blue has gone and all those wisps of white all the way through and then that really bright colorful rainbow on the top got a little bit of glitter or bio de glitter um come through there but really really pleased and really happy that I finally did a rainbow soap with all seven colors of the rainbow including indigo and violet I do believe that there are two purples in the rainbow for a reason one of the best colors out there let's see what happens down this end if that red still oh no red's brightened up down there but some of the others are a little bit slanted Maybe it's just a really windy day and those raindrops are struggling to come down straight. <laughs> but I'm really loving it it smells wonderful clean and fresh love the colors and all those wisps in there as well so I hope you have enjoyed watching how I made my rainbow drop soap if you did why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below and until the next video comes out I hope you have a good one and I will see you then bye <music>